How's it going, everyone? Let me just make sure this is working. Okay, it's all working. I have this little Bluetooth clicker thing. I want to make sure the video is actually working. <laughs> I don't want to talk for 10 minutes and then realize, oh, I gotta redo it. All right, so this video is about street riding, a body position for street riding. So first thing off the bat, just because you know how to do body position does not mean you will use body position every turn for every ride. Learn how to do it, master how to do it, but just understand there's a lot of variables that go into if you use body position, if you don't use body position, but definitely learn how to do it. Just like you don't want to be limited to what's around your waist, you know, tools for the toolbox analogy, have Home Depot as your toolbox, right? Learn everything in the possible world. But if you're working on the sink, gardening tools aren't going to do much good for you. So that's the wrong tool for the wrong job. So body position is a tool. Learning when to do it at a certain time for certain reasons, it's beneficial, right? But that doesn't mean you'll do it every single term. Um, first, thanks for everybody for watching, subscribing, buying my t-shirts, my books, and hats, and everything else, so I appreciate it. So first, you could be neutral a lot of different turns. You can just ride around. If you follow me out in the twisty mountain roads, you can just be neutral. And you'll see me, I don't move much of my body at all. Just riding around, my arms are always loose. I don't want to be the broken arm syndrome, Lion King syndrome, you don't ride around like this. No matter what you're doing with your body, I highly recommend keep your arms loose and bent. If you're on a cruiser-style bike and you're like this, your arms are straight, you can't turn too much, you can't operate the controls too much, right? So you can't go, go gadget arm. So it'd be a whole lot better if you get your chest forward, have better posture, right? So your arms are bent so you can actually do what you're doing. In the American Super Camp, awesome course, I just went to for my third time, they have an awesome saying, the less you hold on to the handlebars, the more control you have. So the more relaxed you are, the more control you'll be in the bike. So when people are death gripping the bars, broken arm syndrome, Lion King syndrome, they're riding around, they don't have much control. You gotta let, the, let your arms, your arms only job is to get steer the bike and control the controls, that's it. It's not meant to hold you up or anything with your arms. Again, remember this is street riding by position. So you can just be neutral. A lot of turns you can just be neutral. There's nothing wrong with that. But learn how to do vibe position just in case a couple things happen, which I'll talk about in a second. So first, for faster speed turns, you want to get your body to the inside of the bike. So imagine you're on the bike and you have something right dead in the middle, and it's like a four-foot piece of plexiglass that I spray paint black. And it's right dead. It's like, you know, 10 inches plexiglass directly in front of you, and you can't see through it, right? You have to get your body to the outside. You get your head to the outside to actually see what the heck's going on. So that's the vibe position. The reason why this is so beneficial, if you get your body to the inside, the bike is more upright. With the bike more upright, you have more ground clearance, so you're not gonna be scraping your parts like if you're on a cruiser style bike. But the main thing everybody will benefit from, the more you get your body's weight to the inside, the less the bike will be leaned. That way the suspension can work better. The suspension works best up and down. It doesn't work too well sideways. So if you're going through a corner neutral, right, and you're leaning this far over and you're about to hit a pothole mid-corner, the suspension can't work too well. It can't manage that too easily. So you may slip. Or you may even crash, I don't know. But if the bike is less leaned because you have body position as you're going through the corner, well, the suspension is better able to deal with that pothole. You see what I'm saying? That's one of the big, big benefits. And the way to do this is body head bike. It's just an easy way to think about it. So you get your body to the inside, then you turn your head, and then you turn your bike. And as you're going through the corner, say left-hand corner, outside arm is straight and relaxed. You don't want to be all tensed up. Inside arm is relaxed from your wrists to your shoulders like a wet noodle. Right, so body, head, bike. For low speed turns, you do the exact opposite. You push the bike down really far. Now your inside arm is straight, your outside arm is bent. You push that bike down really far because you're making a tight turn. That's for low speed stuff under you know, eight, six, seven, five miles per hour. Really, really tight turns. Make that bike lean as far as you possibly can. But for faster speed turns, if you're using body position, you want the bike to be leaned as little as possible. So here's your body, right? Here's the bike. Here's a way to think about it. You get your body off to the inside, the bike is less leaned. You go into the right, body off to the inside, the bike will be less leaned. And that's the idea. For low speed, slow speed turns, you keep the body pretty much, or you keep your body pretty much straight up and down, you just push that bike down really far. Make that thing lean over, because you're making really tight turns. So let me give you a visual. So the first time I saw someone do something like this was at, uh, it was a champ school video. So go to Yamaha Champions Riding School. And by the way, if you put in the code MOTOJITSU, you get a discount for any champ school course they have for the entire 2020. So check that out. So if I'm on the bike, remember you don't want to be broken arm syndrome, you don't want to be really tensed up, you can't steer too well like this. You can't control the bike if you're death gripping. So I, I like to say play the piano, right? Arms and hands nice and loose. Always riding like this. You don't be all stressed out. You don't be really far forward like this, elbows. Just relaxed, relaxed and loose, okay. 
So a lot of corners, like I said before, you just be neutral. If you follow me around the twisty mountain roads, a lot of times I'm just neutral. I don't move my body much at all for street riding, or this is street riding stuff. Just nice and loose, nice and neutral, okay? Now this one corner is coming up. I want to go a little bit faster because I really like the turn. Maybe I'll use a little bit of body position because I just feel like doing it for that one turn. Doesn't mean you'll do it for the whole ride, but just that one turn, I feel like using a little bit of body position. Or maybe I feel like using body position every single turn just to practice it. It may be unnecessary, but I just feel like practicing. No big deal. Right. So you're going through. You're about to go through left-hand turn. Right. So you go body. So my body's to the inside. Then you turn your head, and then you turn the bike. The bike is less lean. Versus if I was to stay neutral, the bike would be lean this much. Now watch. When I, got my, when I get my body to the inside, this is the big, big benefit. Right. If I'm staying neutral, I go to the inside. You see how much the bike is lean. Watch the bike. If I get my body to the inside. Right now, my head is dead center in the middle of the bike. I get my body to the inside, watch what happens. The bike is more upright. And with the bike more upright, the suspension can now deal with the imperfections of the road. This is why it's so important to learn how to do this and master doing it, even though you may not use it or do it every single turn. So a lot of people tell me, oh, I don't have to learn all that body position stuff. Yes, you do. It does not mean you will use it every turn, but at least know how to do it, just in case. Just in case what? Good question, I'm glad you asked. So check it out, you're going through a corner, and you're just neutral. Loose arms, playing the piano, just going through a corner, you're neutral. But all of a sudden, through a right corner, blind right-hand corner, right? You're going through the corner, something rolls out in front of you. Maybe it's a squirrel running out, maybe it's a tree branch, whatever else it is. Or you come around a bunch of gravel or sand or water mid-turn. Right? You're going through the corner, first you're neutral, the bike is leaning over this much. But something you're about to hit something, you're about to hit some gravel, a squirrel, whatever else, you can add body position, aka take away lean angle, so the bike has a better chance to deal with that stuff. Do the right hand turn, everything's, everything's fine. Just going through, just neutral, everything's good. You're about to hit something, holy crap. You see that? I'll do it again, it's pretty fast. So you're going through the corner, you're just neutral, turn your head, always turn your head. Big, big head turns are always, no matter what. Big head turns, looking through the corner, start to turn the bike, you're dead neutral, your head is in the center of the bike. You lean, you're leaning, your things going through, something happens, gravel mid-turn. I get my body to the inside, which pushes the bike more upright, which allows the suspension to work better. That's why it's so beneficial to learn how to do it. And again, for low speed turns, so faster speed turns, my body's to the inside, my arm is loose, my outside arm is pretty much straight, not tensed up, but just nice and straight and loose. My bike is to the inside, the bike is less lean. For low speed turns, I'm doing the exact opposite. Now I push the bike down really far, inside arm is straight, pushing the bike down, make that thing really lean really far, outside arm is bent. Now I'm pretty much to the other side of the bike, going through a right hand low speed turn, five miles per hour stuff, right? Now I'm going faster, I'm gonna do the exact opposite. I got my body to the inside of the bike. Inside elbow bent, arm parallel up to the ground or below, nothing really crazy, right? This is street riding. I keep on emphasizing this is street riding. Anything to do with your lower body, 100% unnecessary for the street. There's no need. And there's like three levels, right? Big head turns, then you have your upper body, then you have your lower body. So for street riding, big head turns, staying neutral, going through turns, no big deal, that's okay, right? Street riding, just head turns, staying neutral. You can do that all the time, no problem. Then if something happens or you want to practice, just in case there's squirrel or gravel or something like that mid-turn, learn how to do a little bit of body position, practice how to do that, get your body off to the inside. See my body's moving a lot, but the head, but the bike is not lean that much? That's the idea. I want the bike to be leaned as little as possible for faster speed turns. See that? For low speed turns, I stay on top of the bike. Now I just lean the bike a lot. Low speed turns, I push the bike down. Now the bike is moving independent of me. I kind of have to disconnect from the bike when I'm doing low speed turns. Low speed left. Low speed right, right? Push the bike down really far after much the upright. Faster speed turns, I get my body way off to the inside. Bike is more upright. Faster speed turns to the right, body off to the inside. So imagine this is my bike. And again, right here in the middle, there's something that goes up four feet. It's about 10 inches wide and I spray paint it black. I can't see, right? Get your body off to the inside. That's kind of the positioning. And keep in mind the timing and how fast you do this makes a difference as well. That's something else I learned at Champ School. You're going to the inside, you're going to the left, body, head, bike, you don't want to do this. You don't want to throw your body to the inside because that's going to mess up the bike suspension. No big movements, right? So your timing of how you do all that stuff. So you're going through the left-hand turn, body, 
as, as you're already turning your head, body, head, bite, it kind of all blends together. You're not a robot, you're not doing body, head, bite. <laughs> you can learn in that way if you want to when you're first starting to learn, you're practicing the parking lot, but when you actually go and ride, it just kind of blends all together. You're going to the right, body, head, bike. You're going through the turn, holy crap, squirrel, add vibe position, aka takeaway lean angle. If the suspension could deal with the squirrel, they can kind of go back into the corner. You're coming out of the corner, the bike goes upright first, then you come back out of it. And just like Lee Parks told me in the interview I had with him, as you go into the turn, right, body, head, bike, as you go into the turn, the bike follows you down into the turn. It's a long turn. You're going through. <laughs> but as you come out of the turn, you follow the bike out of the turn. So the bike goes upright first, and then you come up with it. You see that? I'll do it, I'll do it again to the right. Body, head, bike. Go in. The bike follows you into the turn. Coming out of the turn, the bike goes upright first, and then you come up out of it. You don't want to be in the middle of the turn like this. Like, oh, the turn's done. You stand up, and the bike is still leaned over. And they're like, oh yeah, bike. The bike is the priority. Get the bike more upright first, right? Something to think about. Big mistake people do, right? They go like this. Then get straight up again and go to the right. I don't know how this looks, hopefully it looks okay. If not, man, go practice, you'll figure it out. So body, head, bike. This is what a lot of people do. Here's the big mistake people do. They're all set up before the turn begins. But once they start to lean, they do this. Right, they stay right there. They push the bike down. Now their right arm is straight, adding lean angle. Lean angle equals risk. So the less the bike is lean, the less risk you have. So they push the bike down underneath them, then they bring the bike up out of the corner. And that's how they take a faster speed turn. That's not what you want to do. Either be neutral, right, or go off to the inside. But you don't want to add lean angle. You're just adding risk. Faster speed stuff, you don't want to do that. So you're, neutral. you're nice and relaxed. Go off to the inside, body, head, bike. As you go down, you go, you're now stuck. Don't, you don't want to move your body too much more after this. Body goes to the inside, the bike follows you inside of it. As you come out of the corner, don't just jump up. Let the bike come up first. Bike starts to come up right. See that? Lean angle is less, 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 and then you come up out of the corner. When the bike's upright, then you can kind of slowly start to move and back to the neutral. You have a long straightaway. So you're going, and you're going, and you're going, and you're going straight, 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 straight. Then you have a left hand turn coming up, and you feel like using vibe position for this one corner. That's what you feel like doing. Not every corner. It all depends. So you're going, you're going, you're going. Everything's good, all right? So body, head, bike. You're going to the corner. Holy crap, squirrel! You take away lean angle. The suspension could deal with the squirrel. Then you go kind of go back into it. I think guys have enough examples by now. That's a lot. <laughs> so again, let's do a little summarization. For street riding, up, head turns, upper body, awesome. Lower body, unnecessary. When you start doing full body position, half butt cheek off, you're doing knee dragging stuff, you're in a big parking lot and you're practicing to get good at that before you go to the track. That's like track riding stuff. If you have to move your lower body on the street, you're probably going too fast, as a, too fast of a pace anyway. It's probably extreme risk. There's no need to do that. Have I done that before? Yes, because you learn as you grow, right? When I first started riding, I was doing all kinds of crazy stuff on the street, knee dragging everywhere on the street, because I wanted to be cool, I wanted to fit in, I thought that's what I had to do. But the more now I'm going to the track, the less and less speed I do on the street, because I just realized it's just too insane how me to be doing this crap. That's why I just love going to the track so much now, because you could go balls to the wall at the track, like holy crap, go as fast as you can, but now I think about the pace and what I'm doing at the track, I would never come close to even begin doing that in the street. It's just too much risk, right? Public road riding, come on. So upper body, no problem for the street. Lower body, you don't have to move at all. No, no, no lower body shifting, I don't recommend that at all for street riding. So go out and practice, body head bike, timing going into it, body off to the inside. The benefit, I want the bike more upright so the suspension can deal with the imperfections of the road. That's one of the main benefits. Suspension doesn't work sideways, it works fast up and down. So if I could have the bike leaned less through the corner because my body's off to the inside, that's a good thing. Or even if you're staying neutral and you're going into the corner, if something happens, a squirrel runs out in front of you, take away lean angle, AKA add body position, so the suspension can now better deal if you have to hit the squirrel mid-corner. Who knows, you might have to do it. And one more time, just because I'm making a video about this, body position does not mean you will use it every single turn. I've gotten a whole lot of comments about my videos about body position that I've made already, and they say, well, I watched you 
following around the twisty mountain roads. I, I was riding behind you for you know 30 miles of twisties a week ago, and you weren't moving your body at all. But you made a video about body position. Why weren't you doing it? And I had to explain to him, I was like, just because I make a video about something, that does not mean you will do it every single turn. Sometimes I just feel like doing it every single turn, and I will. 100 miles of twisty mountain roads, every single turn, I'll be doing body head bike. Even though it may be unnecessary, I just feel like practicing it, why not, right? The next time I go ride the same exact route, same pace even, I don't even move at all. I'll just stay neutral, loose arms like always, I'll just stay neutral on the bike. But then maybe one turn is my favorite turn. That's, I feel like going a little bit faster through the turn, now I'll add a little bit more vibe position, just because I feel like it. So just because you know how to do something, just because you have a lot of tools, does not mean you'll use it for every single turn. Just want to really emphasize and make sure you guys understand that, right? So get out there and practice. Thanks for watching. Share with somebody who might find this stuff beneficial, and I'll see you guys later.